to fastest in the stretch the first time around. It is Bourbon Brown is going to go on the lead up. Johnny got Jets toward the inside. day. Oh, hey, good morning. Um, I thought it would be fun today to do a little day of vlog at work at Tampa Bay Downs, but uh, got just like any good day here in Florida, we have to start with our workout. So I'm going to go to the gym. It's cardio day. And uh, then we'll uh, get back here. We'll make some breakfast. We'll head to the uh, track and we'll call nine championship races. So one of the best things I've done this year since I got here to Florida was to start with a personal trainer. Um, working out a lot harder, feeling better, lost some weight since I've been down here, and today's my non-trainer day, so I just go do the uh, walking machine on an incline and then some stair steppers, so. Oh, man. All right, so done with that. We go home, shower, cook breakfast, look at my program a little bit for the races, and then we'll uh, head to the track. here at Tampa Bay Downs but one of the things you know, I had intense negotiations with Tampa when I got the job and one of the things I insisted on I demanded was a very close parking spot <laughs> so let's go in Announcing races is just a series of stairs. Oh, Say hi to Charlie the so Teller. And we head outside to see beautiful Tampa Bay Downs in all its glory. Of course, here and more stairs. More stairs. And like most racetracks, we have a creepy little catwalk. And finally. Whoosh. And finally, we are here. So. Ready to start my day. Let me give you a tour of the booth first, though. So the booth is kind of two sections. So there's the door to the steward's room. So they come in and tell me when there's a DQ or something happens. So got my little paper cutter, my file cabinet, my fridge, which is nice. A little desk here. And then there's kind of a separate little room back here. A little desk here. Got a printer for my programs. And I made a little thing for my uh, first Tampa Bay Derby, Classic Causeway. And then my program. So I had that frame. Just got it a week or two ago. So, And then uh, this is actually the big sound system here. I shouldn't say the sound system, but like the, you know, the amps and the board or whatever. And then up front is the actual window. There's my headset there. I got a little TV right here. I have to use that to see the fractions because the fractions on the tote board 
uh, are intense. They're a little different than traditional. Um, but yeah, and then my little box that I turn the on-off switch on and my program. And the only tricky part of the booth per se, um, the because the window here opens, so that's really nice, but the first turn is totally unobstructed. There's like a half a second where they're behind the screen, so that's a little bit of a, it's not an issue because I just watch on the screen when they go by. And then to turn for home, you have to kind of lean out the window a little bit. That's that's really the only tricky part to the booth, and it's really not that tricky. So by all, all considerations, it's a really good booth to call from. I did forget to show my little uh, bulletin board here. I'll put my notes, like what day it is, track conditions, anything I need to promote over here, kind of a post time schedule here, and then, you know, calendars. And then I got each of the graded stakes races we ran this year, I keep the program for. So there's the uh, Sam F. Davis stakes, which was won by Classic Causeway. The uh, Tampa Bay stakes, uh, who won that? That was, where did he go? Who was that? Get Smoking got caught by Cheryl Spike, I think. The Endeavor stakes was Bleecker Street. Hillsboro stakes was Bleecker Street. And then the uh, Florida Oaks and the Challenger. So keep that. And then I have some like my own like little things. I got a piece of artwork from Portland Meadows, Long Acres, my beloved Long Acres. This is a picture of my first uh, graded stakes race. I got to call it Monmouth, Sunny Ridge, Trainer Jason Service. Uh, this is the photo from my first race here at Tampa through a driving rainstorm. And then uh, the great Jeff Bloom named a horse after me, Beamy Award. And that was him winning on Kentucky Oaks Day of 2019 at Oakland. And then uh, I got a hat. Uh, my friend Jody gave me this Minnesota hat. And my buddy Frank uh, Miramati gave me the Seahawks hat. So keep those in here as good little uh, booth items. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a Friday of racing here at Tampa Bay Downs. Today's first post is coming up in 34 minutes. We'll have scratches and changes in a moment, but first we ask you to please rise as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Friday, April 22nd, these are your scratches for Tampa Bay Downs. Races one and two are clear. Horses coming over for the first race of the day. Every track I work at, I am the bugler. The horses coming out of the track post parading for today's first race, a $5,000 claiming event for four-year-olds and up. They'll be at a mile and 40 yards over the fast main track. And the horses have reached the gate. It's post time. They're lining up now for today's opener. They're in the gate. And the and race is off. off. Bill Ferrioni got away quickly today. Goes out to the early advantage. Piccadilly Bo, Piccadilly Bo is right there. Kenny, my boy. Between them, them English laughter, those four quickest here in the early going as they go a length and a half. Of County Court and Mighty Ghost drops out to the back here as the six of them only come. After between horses, Piccadilly, Bow on the outside. Those three still right across the That's the three-eighths pole. They're a length and a half in front of County Court who gets a little bit closer. Four wide sweep, moving up alongside of Piccadilly, Bow. Battling on toward the inside English laughter, Il Ferrioni starting to charge down the crown of the track with a final furlong left to go. On the outside, County Court down toward the inside English laughter and English laughter battling on. Piccadilly, Bow still pitching away between them. It's English Laughter just in front now. County Court down the outside. English Laughter and Sammy Camacho to win it by two. County Court looked to get second from Piccadilly Bow in third. Il Ferrioni finish for it. Just had a really nice moment here. Jockey Loriano Sosa winning his first career race here at Tampa Bay Downs. 10 pound apprentice. And now he's going to head over to the jocks room and get the Formal initiation to being a winning jockey. And there he goes, water bucket, water hose. Oh, they got him on the TV here. <laughs> this, if you don't know, this is a tradition. The jocks all spray with shaving cream and water and all that kind of fun stuff. So, congratulations, Loriano. So, getting ready for the third race, turf race here, and uh, doing day and life stuff up here is always not that entertaining because like my job's fun for two minutes and exciting the rest of it's just staring at these colors and, and learning the program but um yeah it was kind of cool getting to see that kid win his first race but we'll do a, i'll try to show a couple more things here and then we'll uh, we'll get out of here and our race is on kind of a way to a pretty good start a little bumping there for noble cross 
Johnny got Jets down toward the inside away quickly. Bourbon Brown, the favorite, is close up. And those two fastest in the stretch the first time around. It is Bourbon Brown who's going to go on the lead up. Johnny got Jets toward the inside. From all of us here at Tampa Bay Downs, we bid you a very pleasant good evening, a safe drive home, and hope to see you back tomorrow at 12.15. Good night, everyone. From Tampa. All right, well, that wraps up uh, our day here at Tampa Bay Downs. Just a little day in the life. I, I, there's so much downtime, it's hard to show too much because it's really just me sitting around most of the day. But it's a beautiful day at the track, another fun day here at Tampa Bay Downs. Every day being here is a blessing for sure. So appreciate everybody watching. If you would, hit the subscribe button. Getting so close to 1,000 subscribers. So close. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great day.